All right, folks, it's time for the last inquiry on Power Rangers Beast Morphers. This is episode 43, which is also known as Evox Unleashed. So <laughs> they have everyone actually evacuating because of that messed up Morphex Tower stuff. And lo and behold, they actually had to do a press conference. We see Roxy actually helping people to evacuate, which is like, oh, great. I'm glad she's here. We get to see the mayor. And apparently they actually decided to show everyone and doing a broadcast of we're evacuating the city get out of the city <laughs> so it's very cool to see how that plays out and of course the rangers are morphed and as soon as they are done um crap zoe zoe's mom actually is there of course she's the reporter and lo and behold she is like I want to bring my daughter with me. I want to take my daughter with me. And she finally actually reveals that she is the Yellow Ranger. It's kind of funny. I have to look back now and be like, didn't she see the footage? Nah, I guess not. I guess she didn't really see the footage anyways. But considering her daughter was the one who was like, please don't show the identities of the Rangers. Couldn't you at least put two and two together? Kind of like a little bit of a little suspicion or something. But oh, well. She finally actually gets to know that her daughter is actually the Yellow Ranger. And of course, Blaze can't be there because Blaze is in Japan. <laughs> so, yeah, Blaze got written out of this whole entire thing now. So, the idea is now they're getting ready. They have the bow getting another arrow. And, well, I already figured it out. What's going on is that they're going to actually use weapons from the past. It's like, yeah, that makes sense. And then. Ben actually is able to help with the bow, which is like, look at that. No funny business. Look at that. He is competent. Well, I'll be. It's like, yeah, you. you. That deserves to be another video on its own. So as soon as they actually get Evox and Evox is there, they morph and then they show that they have new weapons. So for the first time ever, the ninja, this ninja steel blazooka, I don't call it the, what they want it to be called. The ninja steel blazooka is finally for the first time being held and used in actual battle instead of actually just being used in a zord. But you kind of would actually say, wait a minute, then couldn't he have actually used the cheetah blaster? <laughs> Well, he did actually search their database, though. He did search their database. So, yeah, that's kind of a never mind. And then you have someone used SPD. We have Steel, who is using the RPM hatchet, which is like, he needed two. It's like, come on, he needed two. Uh, let's see. What was the other one? Um, oh, yeah. Um, Nate is using the Dino Saber from Dino Charge and... Yeah, I'm missing one. It's like, oh, dang it, I'm missing one. What was the last one that I didn't mention? Well, so in the comments, anyways, they're using those weapons, and he's like, all right, you're not using your proper weapons. It's like, no, we're using legendary weapons. And I'm like, is the one you're holding really legendary? <laughs> I'm sorry to be a jerk, but it's like, is it really legendary? I don't think so. I'm sorry to be a jerk, but that's not legendary at all. I mean, especially just the fact of marking the part of where it's like, that was only used in the cockpit too. That makes it even worse. But hey, it can blast actually after all. And oh, while I'm recording this, it says we're having some video issues. Man, well, then after that, we have Evox about to charge them, and that's when the commercial hits. So, uh, excuse me, I'm going to wait for them to actually figure out how to fix this video issue. So, folks, it did come back, but it came with two minutes not present. So, I actually started when they were like, oh, Steel is going in to fight Evox alone, and they're all in. So, I missed that part. Most likely, I'll have to circle back and make another video when it comes to seeing that part. But anyways, so they actually had it in them to kill a ranger. It's even funnier. And oh my gosh, it's glitching again. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? This time right now you're glitching? My goodness. Anyways, 
So they actually had the guts to kill a ranger. And for people who don't know, originally it was supposed to be the Gold Ranger Beat Buster that's supposed to have died. But they switched it and it's like, whoa, that's crazy. Yep, here we go again, having some video issues. Give us a moment to fix it. Yeah, thanks. Anyways. So, yeah, he got blasted and then he got absorbed ish and then he's now on the ground and then he got truly absorbed. So he is maybe gone. I think they might pull a Kendricks. They might pull a Kendricks. So the other Rangers got blasted out of the tower and he had no choice but to get retreated. So they actually drove him back to the base. And well, Devin actually. I'm not sure. Does everyone in the, I think everyone in this facility knows he's the Red Ranger. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the Ranger's identities. Give us some time. We're working to resolve some video issues. As soon as we fix your program, you'll resume. Meanwhile, you can tune into the previous channel. A time right now? A time right now you're doing this? Anyways, whatever. <clears throat> Okay, so they were actually going to get Brit, gr Grid Battle Force. Everyone's going to evacuate except for the Rangers. But then everyone did an I Spartacus move. I am Spartacus. And they all decided to stay together. Even the mayor, even the journalist slash newscaster. So they're all there and they're all going to battle together. And well, Evox turns out he actually decides to turn himself into a a quotations megazord and well thank goodness only the red ranger zord was destroyed i think yeah i think the red ranger zord was destroyed the gold ranger zord might have been destroyed i'm not sure but it seems like they were able to repair the gold rangers they were able to repair um uh beast x megazord and they were able to repair the gold uh silver ranger wait wait how did he even get his back? Oh, well, whatever. And Gold Rangers, I mean, Blue Rangers and Yellow Rangers Zord. So all their Zords are now fixed. And now they're going against Evox with their Ultra Zord. And, well, <laughs> it is not going truly well. They got knocked down. Well, they put me on Team Titan, stupid ass go. So hold on, folks. I'm going to try to at least put it back on the station that's supposed to be on. Okay, I can see why there was some glitches and crap because I definitely didn't want to see the ending of it. But hey, let's. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. So Evox is very big. He's yeah, got his Megazord form going on, or technically Giga Drone, or Omega Drone, or whatever you want to call it, or mm, Theta Drone. Sure, why not? So he did knock him down and everything, and then they actually figured out that, hmm, human actually can beat technology and data, so they decide to actually put Morphex inside themselves, and since it will have human DNA attached, that can actually take them out. So that was a little rocky start. They drained the Wrecker Zord and the Jet Zord's Morphex, and then they just went back to the previous beast x king formation they stabbed him and then they had to give more and more effects and give him all they stabbed him even more and he got destroyed so everything's said and done they're all down on the ground now victory is won. It looks like all the more effects being released and then all of a sudden yes they pull a kendrick's but not only they pull a Kendricks, but they also pull a freaking RPM. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like I was trying to get okay with that. So first, Steel returns. Steel is in his robotic form. Then all of a sudden, he turns human. If those who don't know, in RPM, you had an android that got blown to smithereens. He got blown, and then the Corona Aurora was able to be put on his head, and it turned him human. A Pinocchio's. So we got another freaking instance of the Pinocchio's. Oh my gosh, why are you already trying to top Disney? What the fuck, Cat Lady and Owl Boy? What the fuck? So then we get a time skip to one year later. Let's see. So Devin has been promoted to commander. 
the commander has been promoted to general and I'm pretty sure the general is actually taking a vacation or he's having a good retirement. Something like that. So Devin actually is there with the person. It's like, yes, the guy from RPM. Awesome. They were able to get him back and they found Scrozzle and decided to actually to Ben and Betty's own horn to say that, yeah, they helped to find Scrozzle. He was hiding in a sewer somewhere in Corinth. So he was able to actually teleport to Universe 2. And I guess one of the times where they actually took um, Dr. K's offer to help her, they actually extended their stay to actually go look for him, I think. So then after that, it turns out it's a special thing to happen. So he alerts the quotations to Rangers. So Ravi actually is able to paint. His mom's actually taking some time off and she's learning how to paint too. And Roxy's there. That's good. Gets call, has to leave. Um, Zoe and Nate are together. And oh, yes, they are kicked Morphex. Mor Morphex was a bad idea. Frick that. Now they're doing solar and wind powers. Screw Morphex. Screw the Morphex towers. We've learned our lesson. That was a bad idea. <laughs> so now they're going to that. So that's what's going on there. And they get the call. Steel is now a action star with Blaze as his stunt double. He gets the call. He's going. They all meet. And it turns out it is Steel's first birthday. Equal takes his first birthday. One thing I really don't like is the fact of the dubbing of the voice. You know, the dubbing of the voice. I would say if they really wanted it to, that the person they chose to be Steel's form, take his voice. And when it came to swapping him for one day, allow us to be used to his voice when he's human in that. And allow Steel's voice or Nate's voice to be kind of Steelish. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess technically that worked anyways. But I'm just saying the fact of they dubbed the voice of Steel so the human version of Steel is able to sound like Steel was a bad idea. It should have been the fact of since he was robotic, that's his voice. But since he turned human, he has a new voice. So it's going to forever be a little bit issues of being like, oh, well, if they bring him back as a freaking um in a crossover, they're going to have to get the dub person to come back. And it's like, my goodness, it's just too much stuff that you're asking for. But I'm pretty sure they might be capable, I guess they might be more capable than some bonds. So, yeah, it's the first birthday. And then all of a sudden it's a dance party singing the human song. It's like, oh, my gosh, you made it even worse. And it's the, oh, my gosh, you made it freaking damn worse. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's going to take a freaking week to actually get a better. Because what they just did was mess the freak up. It was like, my goodness, just I. I could accept steel turning human. I can most likely accept that. I can accept that, but there's just, it's like, there's a line that you have to be careful when you're crossing that. And they went over that line and crossed that 110%. And I'm like, good freaking God. No, <laughs> they had a good start on the ending and then they did this crap. And I'm like, please fire cat lady and owl boy. It's their time to go. Frick this It is their time to go. I really hope that was your last hurrah because if it was your last hurrah and you were like, but the bugs made us do all the crazy fart stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, initiate the freaking dance scenes. Mm -hmm. The dance scenes are even worse than the fart jokes. So you can't freaking say that it was Saban's fault. Now you just did a lot of stuff with Ben and Betty and you did this freaking musical number twice. Sorry, but no, you, you're done. You're done. You're done. It's it's game over. You can't freaking uh, deny any crap anymore. Good Lord, man. <laughs> good Lord. My gosh. Good Lord. This was horrible. Good Lord. I mean, I'll come with a freaking finishing of the whole entire thing. And plus, I might have to relook because there were some glitches. But I can understand why there was glitches now. But still, anyways. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the freak, man? I was okay with you doing the Kendrick's thing, but. And the human thing's okay too. 
And my phone's actually freezing right quick. There we go. He's like, I was okay with all that, but you just took it too far. I'm sorry, but you took it too far. Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have to take time to be okay with this. I'm going to have to take some time. 